I'm gonna admit something. I have been in like a literature coma. I've become this hermit where like I don't want to have human contact with anybody because I just want to read books. And at least my brain isn't turning to mush. I want to be. I don't want to turn into some like sociopath. Who's like, my only friends are books. Actually, you know what? Forget I said that. That's kind of weird. The topic for today is what musicians you think are the most inspirational that belong to the LGBTQI community. Um, I'm actually going to be a badass and I'm going to expand on that and actually go into some actors or like celebrities kind of. Basically who inspires me and who I admire greatly. First up is Tegan and Sarah. Tegan and Sarah is actually a band consisting of two girls, one Tegan, one Sarah. And contrary to popular belief, they're not a couple, they're actually twins. They both identify as lesbian. Uh, they don't exactly advertise their sexuality. They don't really hide it, but they don't deny it. Next up is Morrissey. He was the lead singer from The Smiths. They're British. <laughs> He's just really cool, and he has identified as asexual in the past, and he may still be identifying as that, but I think somewhere I read that um, he identifies as gay. I don't know. Who knows? But he's very inspirational. His songs are very uh, tender. Next one is J.D. Sampson. She's a band member from femme punk rock band Le Tigre. I don't really have that much to say about her mainly because I don't really know a lot about her. I believe she identifies as a lesbian. Um, Margaret Cho. And what? Well, yeah, actually she is a musician since she has a CD out. She doesn't exactly identify herself as anything in particular, but the way she's explained her sexuality, I guess it would most closely resemble pansexuality. I don't know. I just stuck that in my mouth on accident. That's basically it. So Margaret Cho very inspirational and plus she's hilarious. Next one up is Sia. Uh, she's an Australian musician. You know a lot of her stuff is like varies like genre wise. Like she's got a very haunting voice. I believe she identifies as bisexual and she's actually been in a very long-term relationship with JD Sampson. She's just great. I like her music a lot so check her out. So next up is Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres I should have probably mentioned before because she is one of my role models, but I didn't because I'm highly unorganized, mentally and physically. She has become the most powerful gay woman in the world. The fact that she doesn't have to advertise her sexuality while still being proud is what inspires me. She stated that she falls in love with the person rather than the body, and so I think that really resonates with me because that I'm the same way. Uh, next person is Janine Garofalo. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I don't know. I believe she's a comedian, but she's a very political activist. A lot of her material has to do with um, politics and the economy and what's surrounding her. And she's very, very intelligent. She identifies as asexual along with Morrissey. She just makes you think. She provokes thoughts that you never knew that you had. Last but not least, I nearly forgot this person. This person is Lucas Silvera. He is the lead singer from The Clicks. I don't want to sound like a hipster, but the band isn't extremely well known. And I believe that they deserve to have more publicity because they're really a great band, in my opinion. Lucas Silvera is an FTM, or female to male. He identified as a lesbian at first, but you know, knew from a very early age that he wanted to be a boy. The things he has to say, extremely interesting. He's very, very honest about who he is. It's very refreshing. So with that said, I think I am done. If you have people that you find inspirational, please comment down below. Tell me about them. Yeah. So stay young, stay gold, and stay queer.